An independent judiciary has been a defining feature of Hong Kong since it was returned from British to Chinese rule nearly 25 years ago. Its legal system is unique. Foreign judges preside in the territory's highest court. They're from countries that use unwritten laws known as common law, created by precedents set in courts. Now, two of those judges have quit, citing the erosion of liberty and democracy here. Human rights lawyer Mark Daly says it's another damaging blow to Hong Kong's international reputation. We, know, we don't know exactly what tipped them, what tipped the balance here and why they got off, but the infrastructure, the legal infrastructure has changed such that they feel they can't do justice in Hong Kong. The judges say their resignations are a response to China's introduction of a national security law nearly two years ago. That followed months of often violent unrest. Since then, more than 150 people have been arrested, with most denied bail. Under the law, the government can select judges for trials held in secret without juries. In some circumstances, suspects can be extradited and tried on the mainland. Hong Kong's leader says the judges were pressured into resigning by the British government, accusing it of damaging the territory's judiciary. It is something to be regretted that uh, they have um, decided that they have to leave. But what I find uh, very disturbing and I could not accept is the uh, association of the judges' resignations with either the implementation of the national security law or the practice of individual rights and freedoms in Hong Kong. There are now 10 foreign judges left in Hong Kong, six from Britain and the rest from Canada and Australia. They're all retired, unlike the two judges who've just stepped down. And that means they're not bound by decisions taken by their governments. One senior legal figure questions whether Hong Kong still needs foreign judges presiding in its courts. We are able to stand up on our own and to demonstrate and prove to the world that we are independent enough, that we are totally committed to the rule of law in Hong Kong without any foreign aid. In total, four judges have now stepped down in the past two years, and that, say legal scholars, could increase pressure on others to follow. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.